Hi, I'm Madison and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a weekly vlog where I'm going to be trying to read 100 pages every single day. So fun fact, I decided to actually try this last week and it failed instantly. Um, like instant detrimental death did not happen. So um, I'm actually introing this vlog on the Saturday of this vlog. I actually set this vlog on Monday, but obviously did not intro it then because I was a, let's say together everyone, hot mess. Um, hot mess express is kind of the bus I've been riding for the last couple of months. Basically this week I'm going to be reading, trying to read a hundred pages every single day, give or take, making sure that by the end of the week I have at least read 700 pages. Oh, that's such a large number. How nice. Um, so that's my goal. Yeah. So Without further ado, let me send you into past Madison. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so it is Monday Eve. Nope. Nope. My cat tried to come outside. That's a new new. Um, it is Monday after work. It's 4.30 p.m. So I'm just wearing a bathing suit and I'm going to read 100 pages. Hopefully, maybe. Wow, this lighting is awful. Um... I'm going to see if this goes as planned this week because I haven't, oh my god, I didn't do this. <laughs> what am I doing? I have not read, oh my god, I have not read consistently like every single day since ever. Um, that's a lie. I just haven't read consistently like every single day in a while and so I thought it might be fun to do it this week. I've got like, my September's pretty chill. So I'm trying to get as much reading done as I can in September since my October is going to be really not great. Um, and yeah, so I'm reading The Blissful Omegaverse by Jessa Wilder because she's going to be at Love in Vegas in October. And so I want to read the book to know if I like it before um, I... Why am I so exhausted? I buy the book for the signing. So yeah. That's it. And I'm watching my cat and dog inside do God knows what. Why is my cat chasing after my dog? That's great. All right, that's my update. I read around about 162 pages tonight of the Blissful Omegaverse before then <laughs> watching like five episodes of a brand new C drama because of course, now, my parents aren't in town this week, so I have the whole downstairs to myself. And so since they're not here, I'm like, well, I might as well take advantage of being able to, like, watch everything on a big TV versus, like, on my laptop all the time. So I was like, whatever. It's fine. I'm enjoying it. But I don't think I'm in the mood for an Omegaverse right now because I know that I should be loving this book a lot more than I am. And I did read the prequel to novella to this book before, like, two years ago and loved it. And so the fact that I'm reading the actual book now and like I'm not loving it, I just think it's maybe not the right time for me to be reading it. So I'm going to, I'm not DNFing it because I think I'll come back to this series because I'm curious to see where it does go. But I'm not, I don't want to like put myself into a slump as well. So I'm going to pause this book and switch something else. But for anyone who is wondering if the Blissful Omegaverse is about, it's in a world where, it's, obviously it's an Omegaverse, and women who are Omegas have to go to this, like, academy until they turn 21, and then when you turn 21, you're then, like, auctioned off to, like, you know, an alpha. Um, but our main girl, she never knew that she was an Omega until she turned 17, and then, like, her heat was brought on by her four guy best friends who were all alphas, and they ended up kind of turning her into like the academy the omega academy and she like hates them if they did that because she, uh, she didn't want to go and so this takes place like years later when she finally turns 21 and gets like leave the academy um and sees what these four guys have been all these years and they've been like up to some pretty like gang shit um they're like one of the top criminals kind of going on and so that's a whole part of it too which I'm just not really in the vibe. I'm very also picky with my Omegaverse, I've found. And so sometimes if they're not done in a way that I like, I don't enjoy them. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm oddly picky about Omegaverse. It's the strangest thing in the entire world because you really shouldn't be. Um, anyway, I'm gonna get to some sleep now 
and then tomorrow I'll figure out, you know, what the next book is that I'm going to read because... I don't know. All right, I literally have no idea how many pages I read, but I read for an hour, which should be close to 100 pages. Wow, I hate filming in my room at night time because I feel like I look like death, even though I'm not. It's just because the lighting sucks and that's it. That's my reason the lighting just sucks. So 100 pages of Damaged Goods by LJ Shen. I'm reading it for work. Um, and so it's basically about this girl who gets a painkiller addiction. She's a ballerina and she's a ballerina at Juilliard. She gets a painkiller addiction and overdoses at the start of the book. And so she gets sent home early for the semester and her parents basically like, she says that she doesn't have an addiction, but she does have an addiction. Her childhood best friend, her literal childhood, like best friend, like they would like conjoin at the hips. He is one of the people who was like tasked with like, you know, babysitting her to like make sure she's like you know we're not going to take any other drugs and it's their second chance romance but he currently kind of hates her because a she broke his heart a year ago when she like left for college because she was like you know he said that he loved her and she said I don't love you even though she does love him um and now he's like really upset because like he wants her to get better but she refuses to admit that she has a problem and like that whole thing so it's their romance it's not like as depressing as i'm making it sound um just because lj's kind of writing style is i don't even want to explain it but it's not depressing i promise um but it is it is hard to read because i'm like 40 percent in and she has she has drug addiction um and she doesn't want to admit that she does and is in denial and it's just hard to read because she wants to be a ballerina and all that kind of stuff. So it, if that kind of stuff is triggering for you, don't read this. Um, but it's different than anything I've been reading lately. So it's kind of nice as like a break to be reading this. Um, this comes out in January, I think it is. Um, it's a fourth book in this series, but like you don't need to read them in order because all the other characters aren't even in this. <laughs> <laughs> at all so it's like completely disconnected so yeah that's what I read tonight so I'm glad I got I got my pages in it's currently eight o'clock so I'm gonna go downstairs and have some dinner and then I'm either gonna come upstairs and do some work on my laptop or I'm gonna continue watching the C drama that I started and I'll probably end up watching the C drama that I started for the next couple hours so read this tonight um tomorrow I'll probably start something else maybe that's what I'll do I'll read 100 pages a day this week but I'll read a different book every single that's such a dumb fucking idea <laughs> that's starting seven books in a week what the fuck why would I do that what is actually on my kindle right now apart from damaged goods ba -ba -na. yeah how far am I right now 35 percent this book is fucking long okay I thought it was shorter than it was it's not because her other books have been like 300 pages. I'm pretty sure this is like 500. I might be exaggerating. Um, let's see. Uh, some of that I wasn't in the mood for that either. Oh, I had this book called Forged by Magic. That one looks cool too. I don't know if I feel like anything magical right now. Oh, I had The Wrong Bride by Katharina Mora. Oh, she's going to be at um, Love in Vegas too. Oh, I haven't read her books yet. Ooh, yay. I'm actually excited for that. Okay. Bye. Hello. It's me. Bernard. I forget how this song goes because I don't actually know it. I never watched that movie. But it is three o'clock. I just finished. Well, I'm st Fun fact. So I work from 6 in the morning until 3.30 p.m. Most of the time, though, I work from 6.30 to 2.30 and then my lunch break is just the last hour of the day because of the way that it works for me working on the pacific coast when pacific time when everyone else works on eastern so i'm not taking my lunch break at 11 a.m because that's weird so anyway yesterday i actually didn't read my 100 pages so like hashtag failure uh basically oh well, yesterday i didn't actually finish work until 3 30 p.m so i literally worked a nine hour work day lovely um and then i had a had lunch and then at four o'clock <laughs> and then at like five I ended up having a two-hour like author call 
And so then it was like seven, and then I was like, time for dinner. And then I was like, you know what? No, and then after I finished dinner, I made some graphics and stuff for my book. And then I was like, you know what? My parents come home on Friday. I'm just gonna sit and watch my C drama on the big TV because once my parents get home, I can't do that anymore. I'm gonna be reading today and I actually figured I know exactly what book I'm gonna pick up because I just got this PR box and I decided actually I started to open it. I was like, I should come on camera and do this. Um, got my PR box from Kat Singleton for her book that just released today, which is Tempt Our Fate. And so I was like, oh my God, perfect. Let's, let's do this. So I'm gonna open this. This has turned into like an unboxing slash like reading vlog because life. I also need to wash my hair tonight because my hair is disgusting. I haven't washed it in a week. I wash my hair once a week, but like by the time it gets to the day that like I need to wash it, I'm like, haha, bro needs to be, oh my God, this is, oh my God. <laughs> How do I open this? Oh my God, I'm about to die. This is so cute. I love this stuff so much. <gasps> it's going to be a, Oh my god, look at this. Grab my neck and call me shortcake. Do you guys see this? <gasps> I love these things. The only thing that I don't actually love about them though, because I've had a couple of these, is the lid can actually get moldy, which is not great. But I love these otherwise. They're so nice. I wish that they made like a metallic. They should make a metal lid for the... Could you do a metal lid with- yeah, you could do a metal lid. They should do a metal lid for these things, so it's more sanitary. Because this stuff does not work. But everyone does these, so like, I don't know. And if you're someone who has one of these and knows how to actually look after them better, let me know. Then we have my Camden Hunter candle. Oh, he smells yummy. Warm amber and patchouli- yeah, there we go. I love amber. Amber's like one of my favourite scents. Amber, vanilla, and then like champagne um are like my favorite smells champagne's like a weird thing to say but like um champagne toast is like a bath and body works candle and it's like my oh this is the straw is like one of my favorites then what else do we have in here there's like a bunch of stuff we got shortcake little soap which is adorable and then i'm so excited for this uh, there's a claw clip and it's a purple pea butterfly flower colored claw clip which is Bosco is about to come say hi. Watch. Hi. How are you doing, sir? Um, I love claw clips. Like, my whole heart. They're, like, my favourite thing in the world. Especially because I've got such long hair and I don't like to make it all, like... Especially if I've curled it and stuff, which I haven't curled my hair in a while. Um, oh, uh, that's, uh, that's such a nice one. Look at that. A+. plus. Okay, living for it. Then... We've got a little, a little, a little baby annotation kit here. And then lastly, we have got a cookie. So we've got the book here, which is the regular edition cover. And then there's like a little, a little thing here. Let's see what we've got. Oh wow, a bunch of goodies. I'm not gonna go through this individually. I'll do this like online, but that's so sweet. <gasps> oh my god, no way, there's vellum overlays in this. <gasps> Yo, queen shit. Oh, I love. I wonder who the artist is for this. This artist is so good. Bosco really you're just sitting like right there. But um, yeah, I wanted to come on just to give you guys an update, let you guys know that's what I'm going to read today. Read 100 pages of that, kind of get you guys my vibes. And then I'll make up the 100 pages I didn't read yesterday on the weekend because life. Hello. Okay, so I read around about uh, 85 pages of the book and then had to stop because I was falling asleep outside, weirdly enough. I think it's just, I've gotten like five hours. I'm so shiny. Shiny from the sun. I've gotten about five hours of sleep each night this week. And so now that it's Thursday, it's catching up to me as you can guess. Um, I'm loving this book so far. Like I'm so wondered that I was being tired and like struggling to keep my eyes open because I was actually having a lot of fun reading it. So I was following Pippa and Candom. Pippa lives in Sutton in this small town. She owns a pastry slash coffee shop. And Camden is like this rich billionaire who is opening up a, who, who has like a massive art gallery in New York. And he's opening up a small art gallery in Sutton Mountain and he's opening it up next to Pippa. And like, they just like kept getting off on the wrong foot. And so like, they both like hated each other, but they're like, the more time that they're, now they like interact, the more they're like coming around to each other. Um, and I'm really liking them so far. They're really cute, really fun. And like, he's doing cute billionaire things. So like, he ruins a pair of her favorite jeans and they're like sold out online. So he literally contacts the designer and gets 10 custom pairs made and sent to her. 
Yes. Oh my god, I love that. So 85 pages. I want to try and read a little bit, bit more tonight. But right now, what I need to do is go upstairs, have a shower, and kind of figure out my shit, and then I'll figure out stuff later. But yeah, I gotta uh, technically I have to edit my vlog for tomorrow, my um my week in my life. I don't know if I'm going to. I might put it up on Saturday instead just because my parents get back tomorrow and I just, I want to be able to sit on the, I want to go sit on the TV downstairs and watching that beautiful big TV in my sea drama. And I can't do that once my parents get back. I don't really, this is my last night. So <laughs> that's where I'm at currently. So yes. Hello, happy Friday. So it is currently, oh God, what time is it? It is 5 p Wow, well, I just finished lunch at 5 o'clock. Well, it's fine. Shit happens. But, um, basically, I actually read earlier today, I was reading, what was it called? I was reading Damaged Goods again just because of work. Um, so I'm currently 68% in. So I think I already hit my 100 uh, for the day for sure. But again, I'm like reading it for work, so I'm not like going to properly review it here. That being said, though, like, Again, huge, huge triggers in it for addiction. Like, just huge, huge triggers in it. So if that's everything for you, please don't read this book. Um, but there is butt stuff in it. If you're a fan of butt stuff. So that is my little tidbit for anyone who's wondering. I'm actually going to continue on reading Tempt Our Fate instead. I was thinking about starting a new book. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll start like, a new book every single day. But... I don't want to do that and I'm actually enjoying Tempt Our Fate so I'm going to continue on with it and then we'll see what I end up picking up this weekend. I'll play around <laughs> oh my god my voice. I'll play around with it I've got like some <laughs> some carrots here right now and yeah that's my that's my little baby update and not much else, not much else. So I'm excited for this, I'm enjoying it. It's fun I just feel like I'm in my in a billionaire mood right now so I don't really want to switch over although I really really do want to read that Katarina Mora book this weekend so we'll see oh my god I am absolutely loving the crap out of this my neighbors by the way are outside in their like patio area and I keep hearing them and it makes me feel very awkward to talk about these books but um just like oh, how do I talk about this um I just read I just read a scene <laughs> okay, well, they're not nudes. They're like, she's in her lingerie. She found her lingerie photos on her phone. And I'm dead and I'm dying. Oh my. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I got my Don't Eat the Homies top on this morning. Um, so basically, I'm going to be continuing on reading Tempt Your Fate because I'm having. <laughs> Oh my god, this is great. Have I read this part yet? I don't know. I just read literally the words, then fuck me. Oh. 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 Hello. So I'm gonna read this today, and then I'm gonna try and read the, some of the Katarina Moore and some of King of Greed as well for this vlog, because I just think that'd be kind of fun. Why not do that? Um, so yeah, Saturday, it's like an okay day out today. It's like 50-50. I haven't done anything to my hair. This is just heatless curls that turned into like a weird beachy wave situation and then what I've actually been doing lately is for like my makeup I'm not like wearing foundation anymore and I'm just doing like these like tanning drops like in my moisturizer every couple of days and it like kind of tans my face like it matches the rest of my <laughs> body because I tan very easily um and then I've just been doing like blush like a little bit of like bronzer and then like mostly just doing like my eyes and things like that so and then I've been wearing like that, that Laneige lip stuff that I showed in my last week of my life vlog. That's what I've been wearing on my lips all the time, which I'm going to want to buy more of. Anyway, my parents came home yesterday, so I got some reading done before all that jazz. And then, yeah, I'm starving right now. It's like 12.30 or something like that. I don't know. It's, it's late. I woke up at 8am to feed Zelda and then I went back to bed and then woke up at like 11, 11? ish and then just stayed in bed for like an hour and a half because I sleep in on Saturdays because otherwise I die because I literally <laughs> I sleep for like <laughs> 12 hours on Friday night to like compensate for like sleeping four hours during the week so like I get no sleep Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and then Friday night I'll like obscenely sleep and then like we'll wake up midday 
um, on Saturdays and then like it's like my way to like recuperate my body which is great but also explains why when I lived in New York I died basically because I was going out Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night so I never actually got to recuperate so I was just consistently going, going, going. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to decide if I want to tomorrow or next weekend I need to film some sit down videos like two or three of them because I've actually read a lot in September that I can actually film a wrap up but then we've got October coming and as you guys know as my little boo-boos over here my little doves know um I film every single year a fun smutty October vlog plus some spooky smutty unhinged racks and don't you worry Madison baby is coming back to that for you again yep Okay, this was kind of a kind of random clip because the entire point of this vlog is to show you what has I've been reading 100 pages, but I felt like doing a small intro. Plus, my mum got me new jeans while she was gone, and they're these really cool ones with like the cargo like thingamabobs. I still got the tags and shit on. Um, but yeah, all right, goodbye. Oh my god, literally, literally loving this book, loving, loving, loving this book. So I'm currently um. 55% in, so I'm 205 pages in. So it's taken me, weirdly enough, like longer to read this than I expected. I don't know why, but it just is. Um, regardless, loving, never loving shit out of it. Like, I don't know what it is. This is like my second billionaire trope that I've read from Kat Singleton, and she just does billionaires so freaking well. Like, I can't even. It has been, like, just, I don't want to spoil things, but it has been great, and all the billionaire stuff has been delicious. The only thing I don't love is that it does have the um, degradation kink in it which isn't like I just don't like that. This is like, like not my per like just not my personal preference but removing that from the like equation 100% A plus read right now. There's like a really cute like caretaking scene that happens that I died during and um, one of Cat Singleton's other standalone romances which is Black Ties and White Lies the main guy in that Beckham, his best friend is Camden, who was the main guy in this book. And there are scenes with the two of them like texting, and it's the funniest shit in the entire world. Like it's definitely giving me like um Anna Huang vibes from like the Twisted series. So like if you think of um I would say like Christian and Alex from that is like Beckham and Camden in this. Hundred percent. Like just my little tidbit. And yeah, like another thing I wanna say is I sometimes will say this, like, when it comes to, like, standalone romances, sometimes you feel like, like, when they're in an interconnected series, you feel like you can't read them out of order, and I'm someone who's super, super like that, but this is different. Like, you could 110% read this without reading the first book in the series, because even though I know that there's going to be a scene that does come up, hopefully soon, because I keep waiting for it, where, like, the storylines do interconnect, you don't need to have read that at all, because, like, her brother, like, barely even shows up during this so yes ah, I'm so glad I'm loving this because the other books I was reading I was kind of just like man I was reading them but now I'm like youth even though there's other two books I want to read in the back of my mind I'm loving this one so much I don't want to stop reading it because it'll ruin my experience otherwise so yeah happy Saturday it was going so great. They had their first sexy, sexy bang bang scene. And I was like, mm, delicious, so good, great. Until they started making pasta and they called it noodles. <sighs> I have one thing in this world I don't like, and that is people calling pasta noodles. Pasta are not noodles. Pasta are not noodles. Noodles are not pasta. <sighs> Regardless, though, a really great spicy, sexy scene. I don't even know how long that went for. That went for like a solid three chapters of them getting ready to bang an alley. That was delicious great loved it but then the noodles came into play and i was like honey what's up it is sunday um i just had lunch it is look i'm here with my my little boo boo baby here and secondary boo boo baby over there it's uh through 3 20 p.m currently um basically this Basically this morning, let's see, can I sit you down on something actually so I don't have to sit here and just hold you? So this morning I woke up and I just stayed in bed and read the rest of Tempt Our Fate by Kat Singleton, which I fucking loved and adored and gave five out of five stars, 100%. No, don't give me one. Oh my god, why can't I do this? Uh, which I gave five to five stars, no doubt, loved it so much. It was such a good book, and like, 
I had a lot of fun reading it and it got better and better as the book went on and like apart from the fact that I just don't like the Degradation King, five stars. So like if I was being super super technical it's like 4.75 but I'm not gonna do that just because I don't like the Degradation King. I don't do that just because I don't take off points ever from reading a book where it has something that I, I know that I personally just don't like when it comes to like sex stuff. That's just something that I have as like a rule of thumb. Yeah, so I finished it this morning. So I think I already hit my 100 for the day technically, but right now I have my Kindle and also King of Greed here. So I think I'm gonna start King of Greed maybe? Where's 50 pages? 50 pages is chapter 10, which could be really fun to do. But then I also really wanna read Katarina Mora. The thing is that I got an arc in from Katarina Mora, but it's book four in that series, and I was thinking of starting book one, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I haven't really decided that. I need to buy a new Kindle case. This is broken. Um, but yeah, that's my thought. I'm gonna read one of those two right now for the rest of the day. I'm gonna sit outside and sub for about like an hour and a bit. And then, yeah, then, then my week's gonna be up. So I'll catch you guys up after I've done that. Hello, it's me. I don't really know what I was going with the rest of this clip, um, but I just came inside quickly because I'm about to pick up King of Greed, but oh my god, I have been um, reading Broken Vow by Katarina Mora. Oh my god, I'm so shiny from being out in the sun and sun baking. And also, this is like literally where Zelda like resides. I am in, where's Bosco? Um, I'm literally in love with this book. Like I like have had to like make the like conscious decision to put this book down and not continue reading it because I, I obviously need to like pick, I want to read Finger Bridge for this vlog, but it is so phenomenal and just like such a good book. I am. <laughs> Like, I, I'm so gobsmacked. about this. This is like my first time reading kind of read a moral book and I regret not picking it. I've seen it for a while now and seen people reading her and I've seen like kind of like people either really love her books or people who are like kind of 50-50 and so I, I never picked it up before because it just never occurred to me. Plus I'm pretty sure her books are pretty long too. And so I was always like, oh, I don't really know about this. This book is definitely long because like my Kindle instant was like, it's going to take you six hours to complete this book. And I was like, Oh my god, six hours. I'm already 22% in, bruh, 22% in. Like, oh my god, I'm like upset. It is so, like, if you like billionaires, it is like billionaire on steroids. Like it's everything I could have ever wanted from billionaire romance. Like there's an entire scene where literally she goes to go visit him and when she gets out of her car, he has like a gravel driveway and her heel like sinks into the gravel and she goes, oh no, like my, this is gonna, like, this is gonna like, ruin my heels. Like, oh, whatever. He's like, oh, he picks her up and carries her into the house and doesn't ruin her heels further. And then he looks at her heels and he goes, oh yeah, it is a little bit ruined. Don't worry, I'll buy you a new pair. And she goes, no, it's fine. Like, don't even worry about that. And then the next day he sends her a custom pair of heels to her office a custom pair. these aren't even just regular custom pair of heels like this is from an up-and-coming designer who's his friend who makes them with literal diamonds there are literal diamonds on the shoes that he gets made for her dead dead deceased i'm like in the grave right now i can't even and that's like there's only one one of the billionaire kind of things that he does, okay? Just once. I'm not gonna, I'm not sitting here to spoil shit. That's just, I was like, and oh, it was so good. He was so good. And like, he even is like, oh, I remember, do you still not like anchovies? And she goes, uh, how did you know that? And he's like, I know everything about you. And she goes, oh, uh, uh, he goes, don't worry, I won't use Caesar dressing. I'll give you, I'll, I'll use my homemade honey lemon one. And I was like, bruh, bruh. I can't even. I'm eating this shit up like catnip. It's so good. But the base of the series is we're following Zane and Celeste. Um, Zane is from the Windsor family and Celeste is from the Harrison family. And these two families have been like basically at war for like a de like 50 years now. His, his grandmother hates her grandfather and vice versa. They're both like major real estate and hotel conglomerates and Zane and Celeste are both the heirs to their respective conglomerates and so they've always been like rivals and pitted against each other and she's like consistently trying to like one up him and so they've always hated each other but obviously, obviously hate and love, fine line, hello. So yeah, it's their romance. Oh my god, I definitely, like, I, I can't wait to keep reading this. I might even do a weekly vlog next week just so I can continue reading this book and vlogging about it because it's just going to be so much fun. But I'm going to pause now. I'm going to go upstairs, get changed because, like, the sun's gone. It's, like, 5.30 p.m. I'm going to put my sweatpants and stuff back on and then I'm going to read King of Read and then up to you guys and then I'll probably 
and this vlog because I've definitely read 100 pages today. Um, and yeah, okay, bye. Okay, hello, how are we doing? I'm upstairs right now. Oh, there's a plane in the air. I just said there's a plane in the air. Where the fuck else would it be? Yeah, on the ground, but that would be like, anyway, ignoring that. I think my cat, uh, she's not coming this way, but she might have been. Um, yeah, love where my energy is at today. I'm all over the place. I'm also just, uh, I love days where I feel good. You know, <laughs> who doesn't? Who would love a day where they feel like shit? <laughs> Uh, I don't even know. Um, basically, I read 57 pages of King of Greed up to like the chapter 10 where I said I was going to read up to. Also, really fucking good. How have I hit two amazing gems today? Like, dudes. Unfathomable. Normally, not normal. Like, I don't know why this year, I feel like, or at least lately, it, like, you know, I... Ha I have been picking up a lot of books that I've been reading and been like, oh my god, I do love this. But it's not like always a common thing where you pick up a book and you're instantly just like, oh, this is going to be like good or like I'm instantly hooked. Like sometimes you start it and you're like, okay, this is good. Like I can see where this is going. Like, you know, I feel kind of solid and stuff like that. But you know, it can depend. But no, both of these right off the bat, one, two, punch. It's going great. Um, King of Greed is depressing as fuck. Um... <laughs> I mean, it's good and it's amazing, don't get me wrong, but like, it's a marriage and trouble romance between Dominic and Alessandra, and obviously, like, marriage and trouble, not fun, because it starts off with, like, you know, I don't want to spoil anything, because when's this, when's this video going out? So this video is probably going out, it is, go it's going out before King of Greed releases, so I can't spoil anything, um, except for stuff that I already know has been like posted online. So what I can tell you is so it's basically it's marriage and trouble, Alessandro Dominic. Dominic is like the king of Wall Street. He came from nothing, made a massive, you know, name for himself. He's like one of the richest men from like new money. Like he's a billionaire babes, okay? Alessandra is someone who he's been married to for 10 years. It's a 10 year anniversary coming up and he's just been like neglectful of her. Like they're married, but they're basically like in name only at this point, you know. He never comes home on time. He stays late at work. He always cancels plans. He puts like, his work before her. And it's just like when this book focuses on the fact of like she is no longer going to take that and she doesn't want to anymore. And so she's like, we need to fix this or I'm like done. It's kind of like what this book is about. And so the beginning is really hard to read because you're seeing just how neglected she is from Dominic and how he's not like, he hasn't really realized that he's kind of pushed her to the back after all these years. And it's so heartbreaking. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to like spoil anything yet. So that's why I think I'm going to start like an actual vlog as well for these two books so that I can actually like talk and say things that like spoiling shit. Um, but oh, it's so good and so well written. I mean, I just, I love Anna's stuff. I've been reading her since Twisted Love before it even came out. Um, so like for four, three, three years now, I've been reading Anna. Um, and I just love her stuff every single time. Like it, it always, this is gonna be really good. It, it, it is actually I think her shortest book, um, when I'm reading, I don't know, the, the arcs downstairs. I'm reading it, it, it's actually her smallest book of hers that I own, so I, it seems like it's a lot shorter. Yeah, I think I might start another vlog up this week. We'll see how I feel. I'm actually kind of, I'm actually sitting down tonight and like planning out my content for the next month because October is, death <laughs> basically um i'm uh yeah once october 1st hits for like uh, but basically from november, uh, october 1st until like november 11th basically i want to say my schedule is just death just yeah like the grim reaper is going to be like following me um, so I need to like plan out my shit so I can actually make sure that I've got consistent content here on YouTube and other places and make sure my author stuff is like up to date because yo. Um, but yeah. Okay. I did it. Okay. I just had one day this week where I did not read a hundred pages in that day, but I read over 800 pages. I read over 700 pages this week though. So I did technically average out netting 100 pages a week so this this is a fail and a win at the same time because this is the most I've read in a week in ages but I still didn't technically do what I was supposed to do so it's like it's weird if you know what I mean um but it was really fun and this is kind of a different vlog than I've done recently because 
normally a little of my week in my life so I'll update you guys on like my day and like what I'm doing and just things in general as like my daily stuff but this has been like my first super like reading reading focus vlog that I've done so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it um and as a reminder don't forget you can still pre-order my book on Kindle right now um it'll be up for paperback pre-order sometime soon I just got the final files literally 10 minutes ago from my formatter so I don't know when those paperbacks are going to be up because there's apparently like a lot of weird finicky stuff that happens with like Amazon and Ingram with like uploading so I'm not really sure that all works but do you know that you can still sign up for my newsletter and everything like that which will be up down in the description and if you did enjoy this video don't forget to hit the like button if you want to see more of me and if you to subscribe to my channel and until next time thanks a bunch everyone bye, -bye.